Okay, 2015 Fiat 500. Um, this car is coming from a, a local dealer. He went to uh, one of the shops. They told him, uh, come see us. So the guy came to us and he pretty much told me that car starts, runs fine, but it will not go over 25 miles per hour. And the uh, and transmission does have a harsh shifting. And I asked him, has anyone looked at it? He said he's got a scanner since he deals, he buys and sells cars, so he has a scanner. And he told me that uh, the only code that's showing up is multiple random misfire. But he said engine light is on, but car runs fine. So I told him, okay, leave the car with me and I will look at it. So here I am, I already diagnosed it. Um, there's a tons of information about this. Actually, the, the, the dealer was telling me that he was going to send out a computer to a, to a um, third party where they can just program the computer and send it back. I told him, just wait. Let me look at it before we go ahead and take the computer and send it out to a third party. So I scanned it and the codes that I got, <laughs> that's crazy. His scanner would, maybe didn't pick it up, but my scanner did. So here's what we did, right? T0339 crank position sensor, A circuit intermittent. That's the code we got. And then, of course, random misfire. So, I was able to replicate, well, not replicate, but this was car was having an issue with long crank. It will take a long time for it to crank. Um, that and the second car would not go over 25 miles per hour. And it just, like, goes to show, like, if you're a shop owner or if you're a technician at the dealership, you know, yeah, customers' words are, are one thing. You do want to take it to consideration, but you do want to test it out, replicate it yourself, collect the data as much as you can. So, in any case, so so that was a uh, that was a data I collected, and uh, I will try to crank it, see if it's got a long crank, and it does have a long crank. So let's go ahead, let you hear this. So key's on. See how long it takes to, it's a long crank, does not want to start because the crank sensor doesn't know where the, where the top dead center is. So let's go by, let's go under the hood. So here we are, we are, by, we are under the hood. All right, so here's what we did, or I did. This is a PCM and uh, this is a cam sensor and over here is a crank sensor. So the crank sensor lives behind, uh, right next to the transmission bell housing. It's very hard to get to. It's a good thing there's a connector that meets right there. So I back probe that. That's a signal wire, cam signal wire, and a crank signal wire. I was able to get the good signal out of it. Cam does have a good signal, but a crank, on the other hand, does not have a good signal. So I'll show you the waveform. So. The green is my crank signal and the yellow is my cam. So cam is fine, but look at the crank. See it's all hashy, missing tooth, missing tooth. And I don't even know what's going on. There's a lot of missing teeth right there. So I looked up uh, uh, our service information and these tone wheel for the crank sensor, they're known to crack and that's what causes the issues with that so let me show you the picture so this is a tone wheel right there this is a top dead center area and supposedly these area tend to crack and break and that's where the crank sensor doesn't know where the top dead center is so I'll show you a good waveform so this is a good known waveform this is a crank signal See, top dead center, top dead center, 
and the top dead center and cam sensor like with our signal was good but the crank sensor was all broken once again this is my this is this fiat crank sensor right there this is the signal that i'm getting right there of course i i have a feeling that since crank sensor is not doing its job it's going it's reverting back to cam sensor is able to start the car but again car is in a uh, limp home mode and of course car is going to have a misfire as well because crank doesn't know what's going on that's why we're getting p0300 code so if you look at i did a couple google image search to get to the uh to get to the sensor to the tone wheel you gotta drop the trans out to get to it and this is what this looks like it's crazy i mean the, this is just ridiculous you gotta drop the transmission down Take the rear main seal out and uh, get to that it's just crazy anyways um, so I'm not sure if he's gonna sell it as is or he's gonna have us do something but yeah this is a diagnosis and uh, I'm gonna let the customer know and we'll go from there hopefully it helps someone uh, else out there um, the code once again it was a uh, it was uh, let's see the the code that was showing P0, P0339 is the code. So yeah, okay, that's it.